Hello and welcome to our extended Trinity Grace family and welcome to our first ever 10 with Tully. I know that's a goofy name. I'm not good at coming up with spiffy titles, so that's what you get stuck with. This video series came about through a combination of the fact that our Wednesday night Bible study takes a break during the summer months and many people continuing to ask for a return to our weekly and bi-weekly uh, check-in videos that were featured online at the beginning of the COVID-19 crisis when in-person worship here at Trinity Grace stopped. And then we dropped those check-in videos when the in-person worship resumed. And a lot of folks have asked for these videos to continue. So this is now going to be a combination of filling a need and a return to a much requested format. These videos are pre-recorded and uploaded to our YouTube channel and Facebook page. The days for posting these videos will not be consistent from week to week. So if you want to make sure that you stay informed about the most recent videos, then go to our YouTube channel, Trinity Grace Loganville, click the subscribe button, and the notification button, and then you will receive a notification when we put out a new video. The layout of these videos will be very straightforward. First, we'll feature a quick check-in with what's happening at Trinity Grace, what God has going on with us, and then second, a thought, a Bible verse, something for us to meditate on for encouragement. I don't know about you all, but I could use a lot of encouragement these days. Correction, direction, and inspiration for living daily for Jesus. Now why 10 with Tully? An effort will be made to keep these videos at 10 minutes or less. I'm not guaranteeing it, but an effort will be made. Now, it's okay. Take a deep breath. You can stop laughing now. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but I will try. I have been told that somewhere there is some side action going on to see if I'm actually successful at that goal, uh, but I don't know anything about that. So again, welcome. It's a joy to have you as a part of these. And also, we, in addition to words of encouragement, there's a specific question that you may have about a Bible verse or about a theological issue or about something happening in our day and age, feel free to send that. And when the opportunity arises, I will do my best to try to address those. You can send those to tully.trinitygracechurch at gmail.com. Now, first, an update about the congregation. And I've got nothing but great news to be able to share. Thanks to the love and grace of our wonderful God and the incredible support of the extended Trinity Grace family, the reopen of in-person worship is going very well. Our youth ministries are up and running. Sunday school for all ages will return on July 12th. We are social distancing. We are taking care of each other. Many people are returning to the in-person worship services, and many are remaining online. And as we have tried to make very clear, we support and respect your prayerful decision as to how God is calling you to be involved in the worship of God and the work of God's church. We really do trust the nature of your relationship and commitment to the work of God. So whether you're here in person or whether you're with us online, we're just glad that we can rejoice together. That's truly heartfelt, and we just want you to know that. Also, your financial support has been absolutely incredible. At a time when many places of worship are struggling financially, we have been able to meet all of our local expenses, and here's the key part. As a congregation, we participate in an item called Faith Promise. And Faith Promise are gifts over and above what we give to the ongoing work of ministry in this place. And it is used exclusively 
for evangelism, for missionaries, for uh, supporting those in need, those with food instability, for supporting uh, people with unplanned pregnancies, for just the, all that wonderful outreach to be able to make the love and grace of God known. All of that's done through faith promise. And the incredible thing is, all of those commitments that we prayed about and made together as a congregation for 2020, thanks to the graciousness of God and your incredible contributions, we have met all of them. We have sent the entire 2020 commitments to other ministries that are struggling because of limitations on finances that this COVID crisis has created for them. We have sent the annual amount of money dedicated to our missionaries, to two local pregnancy resource centers and several other areas of ministry that we're involved in. They already have that and, and can use that to be able to serve God and to assist people. Indeed, our session, that's the governing body of our local church, is in the process of discussing the possibility of providing support for additional missionaries to help get the message of love and grace and salvation available through Jesus help to get that out there and to reach more people. It's a very exciting in a very difficult time. Now, those who feel called to financially support our ministry, you may contribute online at www.trinitygracechurch.us or you may mail your support to Trinity Grace 4020 Bailey Circle, Loganville, Georgia 30052. Now, I've taken too long with the introduction, so I want to get to the most important part of today. I want to be able to leave you with a few words of encouragement. And as I said at the beginning, we're probably in agreement. I know I need encouragement from the Word of God. I'm fairly certain most people do because we live in a very disheartening time, a time of disease and dis-ease, a time of anger and violence, Cries of injustice abound. Fear and discord seem to rule every moment of every day. At a time when Christians were being heavily persecuted, when their lives were being destroyed, Paul wrote to the church at Corinth and spoke about the fragile nature of life and faith. He spoke of how the most precious elements of life and faith were the elements most quickly jettisoned during times of trouble and how such turning from Jesus robbed people of the only real hope that they could ever find in those troubled times. He said in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 16 through 18, do not lose heart. Even though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure, because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. It is easy to only see the temporary destruction of our day. We need to remember that when we cling to Jesus and stand for the ways of faith in a world rapidly rejecting the Savior, we become for ourselves and others the last bastion of hope for our people that are clinging to the temporary. When what we really need is a turn to the eternal. Let us pray. O oh God, in our difficult days, keep us grounded in the eternal so that we may give our communities, our nation, our world, the only source of hope that will make an eternal difference. The grace, love, hope, salvation of Jesus. For it's in his name we pray. Amen. Thanks for being a part of this new endeavor, and I look forward to seeing you at the next 10 with Tully.
Have a blessed day.